You have probably heard about Patagonia. Patagonia is a terrain in the very southern tip of South America. That is related to what I'm gonna say today. So there is a guy named Yvonne Quinard, and this is back in the 1960s and 70s. He was app climber and environmentalist in those early days. And he wanted to go and explore the richness of nature. And he needed some gear for that. And he couldn't find good enough, so he started to do them himself. And later the others were asking also from him to do good uh, quality gadgets for exploration in nature. That's how Patagonia company was founded. I'm Marco Vilenius, your traveling futurist, and we are talking here about what does this company called Patagonia really do? How is it changing our way? How companies can be doing something really concrete for the environment and for preserving this planet? Because this was the desire of the founder and later the company itself started to build into its practices concrete actions that show that they are not just there for the business. In fact, that's not their purpose, but their purpose as they define it and as the owner of the company defines it is that they are here to save the planet. And that might sound far-reaching kind of a mission for, for the guy that is running a business. But this is the case with Patagonia and with Yvonne Cuinard. And interestingly enough, this company has been built to its present form by taking a real action in hundreds of different ways. How to be more environmentally friendly, how to do as little as possible harm for our environment while running the business, while producing materials, while making products for people. And there are several aspects of this story of Patagonia that has much wider implications. The first aspect is this. They were the ones that started in a serious way to talk about how to recycle the materials that they have already produced in the past. They were the first one to start to think about how the material can circulate inside the processes of the company so that you can bring back the garments that you have been using. If you think it's, if it's too old and it, it's just wearing out some of the, the its qualities. And yes, company takes it back and reuses the material. But company has been also doing other things. It has also been proponent for tackling climate change and also changing our agricultural practices. Because obviously they are using some agricultural products such as cotton in, in their products. So what they have done, and I think this is quite remarkable, is that they have been advocating the new practices in the agriculture to promote what is called the regenerative agricultural practices, whereby you as a farmer, when you cultivate the land, the focus should be actually to leave the land for the next generation richer than what you have. And the way that you do that is that you use the type of the technologies where you are tying in the carbon to the soil instead of depriving it and using chemical fertilizers. That is what you are not doing when you are practicing regenerative agriculture. And Patagonia has been pushing very hard on this. But not only that, they have been also very much looking after the ways that they can make sure that the workers' conditions in, the, in those factories that are produ producing their garments are fair. Now for almost 10 years they have been joining what is called the Fair Trade USA, which is the movement, an initiative that makes sure that people who are producing, the employers who are making those garments in, in the factories, get 
fairly treated. And this is also something that has been now widening as a policy and there are more and more companies joining that. But I think we need to appreciate those ones that have been doing that very long time and have been the pioneers in this type of the movement. The second aspect I want to say, which is particular about the Patagonia, that is that they say that they want to do only very long-term uh, strategies, which means that they are not changing their strategy every year or not even every 10 years, but they want to fix their strategy in a such a way that it really follows the core principles and the core ethics on which this company has been founded at the time. And that means that they are looking at every point, how they can use less harmful chemicals, how they can use overall less materials and how they can actually produce more value to their customers. When they launched a campaign 12 years ago saying that don't buy this jacket, there was a picture of the jacket uh, in that advertisement and the, the text which said don't buy this jacket and what they meant by that that we should always be very reflective when we do our purchases and they don't want that the consumers are doing the kind of a purchase decisions which is only based on short-term interest and they don't want to encourage that type of consumer behavior at the time, that was seen as a very radical way of redefining what a marketing or company selling strategy can be. But it was not really a market gimmick. It was their serious effort to talk to people at large and consumers that, hey, wait a minute, think about your consumption patterns, think about how can you ally with us and be more aware of your own consumption? And indeed, the response that came from the consumers at that particular stage when they launched this campaign was overwhelming. And actually, it was very productive also for a company's business. But the point was this, they wanted to extend the way that they are talking to their stakeholders and saying that, well, if they company's strategy and mission and code is saying that we don't want to increase unnecessary consumption, then that has to be told in hundreds, if not thousand different ways. And this was one of those ways. Also, when you look at the the marketing in general, you can say that, oh, they rather like to think that how can they help the customers to experience more in the nature and to, to know how they are using their gadget instead of just buying more stuff. So all in all, Ivan Quinard and his team were a real pioneers, not only in their own industry, but in the business world in general. And they, example, have shown to many other companies thereafter that, yes, the change is possible. And if you do that, it's not only good for the environment, it's good for your customers, it's good for your profits, it's good for all stakeholders included. So why not to do that? And in the future, it is extremely important that we're gonna see more of this Yvonne Cunard, more of these Patagonias to rise. Because we are living in this critical era where we are moving towards more resource efficiency, more intelligence in the anything that we do. Particularly keeping in mind that we need to save this planet. Subscribe to my channel where you will learn more about the future.